Hello, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Hasu Hour. I'm your host, Zerg. And the matchup today is Protoss versus Terran. I spawn Protoss in the top right, open with a pylon. My opponent spawns Terran in the bottom left, of course, opening depot. And I go ahead and scout immediately. And this was actually the second game that we had played. I had, uh, I had started with a cannon rush in the first game. And I was thinking, I was wondering to myself, when you're playing sort of a best of three or best of five, what is the metagame implications? Should you open with cheese and then, and then an eco build? Or should you open... Is, is there a, a particular set of, of metagame strategies that you should employ uh, to win the sort of paper, scissor, rock uh, combination in the opening? So a little worker harass here and two SCVs uh, forcing me to run. I take advantage of the fact that the probe has a very quick heal on the shield and force his SCV away. Meanwhile, I just stick one probe on his scouting SCV. And the reason I do this is because now he's got a micro to keep that SCV alive, and maybe this is going to have some consequence for his macro, or maybe he's going to ignore the, the SCV. So I do get a kill there. And... At this point, I scout that his barracks is second kill for the probe. A different probe, but two kills. So I scout that he's building an add-on for his factory. And I see in a second that it's reactor core. So at this point, I assume that he's opening Reaper. And I, I uh, sort of heard the ready defenses. So I throw down an add-up. I get the mothership core and I build this extra pylon here so that my midline is fully defended by the photon overcharge. But it turns out he's actually going for more of an m, &M push, which is, which is probably the stronger approach in the long run. Reapers can do a lot of damage uh, early on, and they're a very effective harass tool, but they don't really stand up in straight-up combat. So this Marine Marauder build, possibly with tank, it's, uh, it looks like he's going to go for an early push here. And I haven't really fast expanded, which is kind of lucky. If, if your opponent is going for an early push, it's better, of course, to mass up yourself or, or to tech, which is what I did. So you'll see Robotics Facility followed by Robotics Bay. And my plan was simply Disruptor Drops. The Disruptor, of course, a new unit in Legacy of the Void with a massive, uh, I think it's 400 Splash Damage Purification Nova. No upgrade required, although it is basically at the top of the tech tree uh, in the robotics bay there. And it, it, it's got a very slow cooldown. Uh, which is why it works well in the shuttle. It's basically the reaper, the reaver, reaver from uh, from Brood War and Starcraft reincarnated in sort of a, a new techie form. My opponent going opting for an expansion instead of uh, an early push, still massing up here, getting some upgrades. Has the engineering bay probably going to start getting some uh, weapons upgrade when he has the resources? And I'm I'm pumping basically add up disruptor at this point, doing a little long distance mining since I do have some surplus workers, and getting my natural online as well. So here comes the drop. And the reason why I took this sort of circuitous route is simply in case he was doing a push, I didn't want my shuttle to uh, to end up 
along the same path. Uh, so that's why I decided to hit the natural. I figured by now probably he had it. And uh, I could have also hit the main. So the adepts, uh, along with the disruptor, more the disruptor really, uh, do manage to kill the, the SCV that's building the expansion, slowing that expansion considerably. He still hasn't sent an SCV to repair it. There it goes. And you'll see this mine placement here. Very nice. Uh, pretty much uh, setting me up if I, if I go back uh, and hit the way I came before. But I decide to take a look over here. And meanwhile, my opponent decides enough is enough and he's going to punish uh, me for teching and he pushes. So a couple of ups coming down and one SCV killed two, uh, doing a little damage to the, to the orbital command, not really killing that many workers. Unfortunately, a misfire on the shade here. Uh, should have should have gone this way would have been phenomenal attack. Meanwhile, my opponent uh, basically at my base, a nice little strike force here, stim marines and uh, three marauders. And the purification nova is going to take out a couple marines, but he's going to get a pylon and he's going to dodge the second purification nova by lifting into the drop ships. Very nice. Targeting the Psyonix core. And these three gateways are unpowered. One's falling. Phenomenal damage here from this attack. But a Purification Nova, again, completely misses. Uh, Mothership core now fending them off desperately with a little photon overcharge. And Purification Nova, again, missing these dropship micro uh, really really uh, preventing the Purification Nova from doing a lot of damage. But there, uh, at least one mine was killed. I don't think actually any infantry. And this is just devastating here. Uh, the Purification Nova even, you know, can you use it with so many probes? And uh, oh, that Nova just kills probes and does not kill. Uh, there, one Marauder going down. And, uh, but the, the photon overcharge finally clearing this attack force out of my base. So that was a really devastating attack there. Um, and, uh, just completely destroyed my production. You can see I'm, I'm totally mineral glutted, uh, <laughs> and really, really strong blow to my eco, completely wiping out the majority of my probes. So that was a very nice attack, and and in particular the micro dodging the purification novas uh, really put a crimp in my plans. Meanwhile, I do still have a bit of a strike force here, uh, harassing my opponent's base, as well as a disruptor. So. Somewhat of a balanced game, although I do have a slight supply edge and a massive resource glut that uh, might be able to translate into some units eventually if I ever get a Psychor back online. Right now, <laughs> uh, all I can produce is Zealots and, and Disruptors. I mean, I could produce like a Colossus or something. That might not be a bad idea, actually. Um, Throwing Colossus into this mix to handle the the M and M. So this uh, Whittle mine here, very nice. Uh, although I am going to get Observer online. Uh, Psychor just started now, so <laughs> so uh, I am going to have to make a few zealots uh, out of desperation. And I did manage to spend some money anyway on some production facilities and a new base, which is going to get attacked. So three Widow Mines coming down. And one, two, three. Three of my Disruptors torn down. The other two quickly follow. This is absolutely devastating. Will 
Another disruptor falls, but here's a purification Nova taking out five or six infantrymen and the photon overcharge still sort of saving my bacon just a little bit. Uh, Psychor back online, a couple stalkers warping in, but I don't really have a lot of forces mobilized to deal with this threat. More probes falling and another widow mine here being planted in my base. Purification Nova doing a little damage there, but still there is an infantry force. The stalker's being taken out. That Zealot not really uh, capable of, of taking on these units. The Photon overcharged though, getting a couple kills and sending my opponent packing. Despite the, the successful attacks in my main, my opponent still has not gotten his uh, second base online really at all. And he's got limited uh, eco in his main. So once uh, I do get these three bases saturized, I'm, I'm basically only on one base myself despite the, the double nexuses. Uh, but I do still have a nice mineral glut. So that is going to translate into eco and production. And I do manage to clear a few mines out of my base. But this one still here, racking up kills slowly and steadily, taking them out one at a time. These, uh, these mines have been a real, real problem for me. And my opponent shows no sign of relenting in his aggression. And with uh, a couple mule call downs, he is able to get a pretty nice mineral income, even without many workers himself. Purification Nova taking out a couple couple uh, units, but I am able to clear the mines uh, completely from my territory at least, now that I have the observers, and I do have a fairly massive 30 supply edge, especially once you consider all the surplus minerals I still haven't been able to spend. Looking at four, four gate and three base, my opponent's third expansion coming on the line. Uh, his saturation mind uh, in his main and getting, getting there in his natural, especially because now that his main is saturation mind, he's going to have a double SCV pump into his natural. Still focusing primarily on barracks units, sticking with the m, &M. Let's check out the upgrades, one and one. I've got none, none uh, whatsoever aside from the shuttle speed upgrade and but I do have a, a bit of a force mast here <laughs> still still one more mine in my base uh, these mines have just been annoying me uh, the whole game uh, throwing down a force fourth nexus looking to macro pretty hard and uh, try to defend my bases. My opponent again attacking with his biological m and m force. Uh, taking the high ground here, pretty nice. And maybe he's going to drop my main, try to take out the production. And there's the drop. Pylons, uh, losing, losing, losing health, health quickly. Uh, Purification Nova taking out a few troops, but it looks like he's gonna uh, he's gonna retreat. So the the attack was uh, at least fended off. There's a, sort of a second arm here, and he's uh, trying to mass up his units. Stalker army confronting with Purification Nova, which is gonna force at least a retreat, uh, causing my opponent to either take some damage or uh, stop doing damage himself as, as he retreats and uh, really needed the boost there. But the 20 hit point medevac with its wounded cargo is going to be able to escape. Now a massive 60 supply edge for me. Saturation mind at my natural and my second natural with the main completely mined out. My opponent's main getting pretty mined out as well. Briefly a little harass drop here. Still no saturation mining 
at the natural and a supply depot is about to burn to the ground that is not going to get repaired but 2-2 two, two on on uh, two, 2 upgrades uh, so he does have that going for him and uh, we are going to get a all-in confrontation pretty soon uh, kind of kind of weak spending here I need to throw down a few more production facilities. <laughs> I'm trying a little harass. Uh, finally, uh, gas here for, uh, for my opponent. And he does need to transfer a few SCVs. Uh, and I'm pretty much uh, pretty close to max here. Finally getting some upgrades. And uh, pretty nice army. So because of my eco edge, I am going to be able to pretty much just walk in despite the, uh, the nice upgrades and probably favorable unit composition. Stalker is not really that strong, although the disruptors do help a lot because the stalker is such a versatile unit, especially the unupgraded uh, stalkers. So he is confronting, uh, taking a nice, doing a lot of damage here, but in come the purification novas. Forcing him to retreat, and there's simply no way that that my opponent can can compensate for the massive supply edge, uh, the economy I've got with with uh, my fifth base here now going to be saturation mine almost immediately because I have been OCD in the E key throughout the game. Another little harass drop here. Just uh, see what I can do. That does nothing. A little damage to a refinery. Uh, I do love these disruptors, especially for drops. The, the Nova can do a lot of damage in a quick time. And another attack here. But these this force is just so outnumbered by the stalkers. The Purification Nova uh, doing a lot of damage there. And that is the end.